Right, well it's uh, time for another loco today. <coughs> um, as you can see it's a Batchman loco. Uh, bought it from Hattons yesterday, came today. And here it is, it's class 47. You can't quite see it yet. Um, it's a in BR two tone green. Um, just a few little details on the end. Class 47 diesel D1572 BR22 in green for reference number 32804 and she's a 21 pin DCC ready loco. Anyway, let's get the box and then get a better look at her and then uh, get on the track. Obviously, you can get this ice block. As people prefer it, ice block packaging, your normal collector's club and instructions, I should imagine, and, what, and the warranty. Right, sign her out. She actually, I have, I've had her out of the box just to, you know, have a look to make sure everything was alright. Um, and she actually comes apart quite easily, so it makes it easy for doing a video. Um, yeah, you've got some details here. One is actually uh, been separated, not even in the pack, so it might be an extra one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you've got all little bits in there tubes, hoses, and another coupling. I might fit detail one end, I don't know yet. There we are. Just open that up like that. Pull it open. And there you have it. Oh. And there you have your loco. What I'm trying to do is pull that out without it going everywhere. Oh, so, sorry about this. Right, well, there we are. This is the wonderful looking 47. She's now touched the rails. There we are. Now she doesn't fit in too well with my um, layout. She's obviously a 60s loco. Um, but I'm not, I don't know what to expect of this loco because I bought that one, which is the newer Batchman re release of the 37. Very good model. New lights. Da 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 da. Um, and it ha hasn't performed as well as I thought it would. But hopefully, back from. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold, I think. Um, I think. It's wrong buffers. Um, I think uh, this is a good re release of a model. Um, bogey detail. Say, good as always on 40, uh, Batchman 47s. Uh, I like the little yellow. Uh, they're called uh, wheel baron cups, I think, something like that. They're for the barons, aren't they? I don't know. I'm a bus mechanic, I don't really know. Um, sprung above this end as well. Um, as you can tell, because it's old, it's obviously got the head codes. Um, so let's just give her a little bit of power to see what they look like. I'm going to just check the points. Yep, I don't want to be starting up any other train, do we? Right, and um, and she goes. There we go. So nice red lights at the back, and a well lit up head code at the front. That is the dogs and um, beeswax. I like that a lot. So so far so good, really. Um. Yeah, I like it. But what I'll do, um, my iPod's gone slightly dead. Um, I ain't gonna upload this video on its own. Um, basically, what I'll do, I'll say I've done a review on it and a run around because then I'll do a video of it telling some stuff. Um, probably that freight, I don't know yet. Whatever's available, really. Um, 
But yeah, if you do have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask. And uh, of course, I'll try and answer them. Um, if you want to know the price, it's £80. Um, but Hattons have actually sold out. I was quite lucky when I bought it, there was free in stock. Now there's none in stock, so it's obviously quite popular. Um, they still have the BR Blue one that they released as well, the two head coded ones. Um, so, yeah, if you want uh, um, a blue one, they do have it. But this one is fantastic, I highly recommend it if it comes in stock on Hattons, buy it there or anywhere else, really. I should imagine you can get it off eBay now for about 100 and 50 quid. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll upload this later with another video. Alright? Well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll join you back in a minute. <laughs> right, well, we're now back with the Batchwing Class 47, the new one, D1572, and head code IE46. Don't know what it stands for, but at the moment I've got a few mineral wagons behind it. Um, as you can see it's in BR green, two tone the green, yellow painting on the wheel hubs, um, fantastic detail, yeah, so uh, I'm sorry about the poor light quality, um, it's got quite dark, uh, I mean I didn't get back till about 3 o'clock, so the other video was in daylight and this one's a bit darker, <laughs> as you can see. Anyway, I'll go run around just to show the performance and uh, see how she goes. Anyway, let's uh, power up. This is just the modification to level out the track. That head code does look great though. While I'm here, I've just got the class 70 hooked up to the tankers. I've got three new tankers today. So, that one is new, but oh, new, new, big new one, and had that a little while. And the container cars are new as well. Just thought I'd show you before I forget. A bit more power.
Anyway, now you better bring her to a stop. And there we have it, fantastic loco, I highly do recommend it and if you have any questions on the model or any other stuff, one thing I have forgot to mention, it's got the different grills, the older early 47 grills, just a quick thing, obviously small yellow water panel, red buffer beam, sprung buffers, window wipers, uh, good detail. <laughs> one one moves. I like that. That's cool. Anyway, so there we are. Thank you for watching.